The first time I went to replace a toilet seat, I was a little bit overwhelmed at all the choices at the home improvement stores. It's surprisingly complicated for something that seems like it should be pretty simple. The first thing you need to know if you're replacing your toilet seat is what size you need. There are actually only two sizes of toilet seats in the United States. There are round and elongated toilets, and any brand of toilet seat will work on any brand of toilet as long as you have the right size. You can generally tell which size of toilet you have just by looking at the shape of your toilet and the toilet seats. But if you want to be absolutely sure you can measure. So to measure, you're going to measure from between the bolt holes on the back of the toilet to the front of the bowl of the toilet. If it is 18 and a half inches, you have an elongated toilet. If it's 16 and a half inches, you have a round toilet. And in case you're curious, the width between the bolts is five and a half inches on every toilet. When you look at materials for toilet seats, there's two main options. There's plastic or wood, and each one has their pros and cons. Plastic doesn't stain and it tends to last a long time, but a lot of people feel like they feel flimsy, especially when you try to sit on them when they're closed. But there are absolutely some really high quality plastic seats that can be really nice and durable. With wood, it definitely feels sturdier and a lot of people like the feel of a wood seat. The main downside to a wood seat is the finish does tend to wear off over time, especially if you use harsh cleaners on it, and they can stain and discolor as well. Now for the hinge materials, some will have metal and some have plastic. I tend to prefer the plastic because every time I've had the metal hinges, they have lost their finish over time. And I just feel like the plastic ones last longer if they're high quality plastic hinges. Now, what about color? I'm sure you're thinking I have a white toilet. I need a white seat. What is there to think about with color? But did you know that not all whites are the same? And there's actually a number of different colors of white in toilets. With Toto toilets, there's cotton white, which is a really bright white color, and colonial white, which is a little bit darker, a little bit closer to off-white. And American Standards toilets are all a little bit darker. They're a little bit more like Toto's colonial white. And Kohler's toilets are all bright white, more like Toto's cotton white. If you're buying a brand of toilet seat that's different than your toilet, you might wanna pay attention to reviews and see what people have to say about whether it matches your brand of toilet very well. If you do have a toilet that's a color other than white, I probably would stick to the same brand of toilet seat as the brand of toilet, just to make sure you're getting the right color. Now let's talk about features of toilet seats. The most common one and the one I would absolutely recommend is slow close. It just means that as your toilet seat closes, it's not gonna slam, it's just gonna come down nice and slow. Another feature you'll see a lot is non-slip feet underneath the seat, and that keeps it from sliding around on the toilet as somebody moves on it. That can be nice, but be aware that sometimes those feet can be a place to trap dirt. So just pay attention to the design of those feet. Another feature in some toilet seats is integrated child seats. And we did actually have one of these when my kids were little, and it was really nice because we didn't have to worry about one of those child seats sitting around in the bathroom. Also, quick release is a nice feature that can help you clean the toilet a little bit easier. It means that it snaps off and you can take the whole toilet seat off really easily for cleaning and then put it back on after you're done. This can be a really nice feature if your toilet seat gets extra dirty, like if you have some boys in your house. Another really nice feature is heated seats or bidet toilet seats. But the problem with those is you do need electricity nearby. I really wanted to get a bidet toilet seat for my bathroom, but unfortunately there is no electricity anywhere near it and it wouldn't be worth the cost to put an outlet near the toilet. And in case you're nervous about installing your new toilet seat, just know it is one of the easiest DIY projects you can do. I'll give you a very quick rundown on it. All you have to do is line up the toilet seat with the holes in the back, you drop in the plastic screws on the top, then you hold the plastic nut from underneath while you screw the screw in from the top. You might need to adjust the seat a little bit to get it to line up just right with the front of your toilet. And then after you tighten things up, you're just gonna snap those covers shut. That's it, it's actually really easy. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.